How dare they imprison us like this? Those wretched court jesters. Zorn and Thorn will never get away with this. I can't believe I got dragged into this. No one asked you to meddle in our affairs. It's pretty sad, getting backstabbed by your own queen. This is all some kind of mistake. I know the queen. She would never betray me. Wishful thinking. Who knows what she's going to do to the princess. I must save the princess at all costs. Sorry for that abrupt ending last time, but I just needed to, the video was getting long, so. I wonder if mother will even listen to me. Why did she attack Bermesia? And why did she arrest us like this? I must be sincere with her. This is Garnet's room, the same room at the beginning of the game. <coughs> she hasn't been herself lately. Actually, she's been acting rather strange since my birthday last year. The same day that tall man visited us. Slenderman? I'm just kidding. Maybe he had something to do with it. Come to think of it, that was when things began to change. Dr. Todd left Alexandria shortly afterwards, too. What happened that day? Oh god, these fucks. Queen Ron summons you. Come with us. What? How dare you speak to me like that? Quiet! With us, you are coming, and that is that. What was that phrase? Oh, yeah. Get off me, scumbag! What was that? I do not understand. I understand what she said, I do not, either. Now get away from me. Enough! Now come with us! Sick fucks. Sorry. Hurry up! For so long, the queen has waited. At last. Mother? Darling, there you are. Where were you? I've been worried sick. Here, come closer. I wouldn't go near that. Mother, there's something I need to ask you. What is it, darling? I will tell you anything you wish to know. Did you... <sighs> is it true that you are responsible for the destruction of Promethea? Oh. Well, no wonder you look so concerned. That is far from the truth, Garnet. You see, those Promethean rats have been plotting to destroy Alexandria for some time now. I couldn't just wait for them to attack and destroy our precious kingdom now, could I? So I had no choice but to take initiative. Mother, is that really the truth? Of course. I would never lie to you. I don't believe you. Oh, darling, what's wrong? Why wouldn't you believe your mother? Oh, no. May I also play a part in this act? Act? Yes, an act from a beautiful play. There is a knight on a white horse. And a beautiful princess. It is a tale of tragic love. Overcome by grief, the princess must sleep for a hundred years. You. I've seen you before. It appears we were destined to meet again. My sweet angel, come to me. Get away from me, you creep. I will take you to a world of dreams. Oh no, he's casting sleep on us. Or something. <clears throat> she is beautiful, even in sleep. Hmm, impudent girl. Zorn, Thorn, prepare to extract the Eidolons from Garnet. Oh man, this part. So you know all those summons that we had? Well, as you might have just heard, you know, they're trying to extract them. A belated happy birthday, princess! <laughs> 16 year old? 16 year- 16 years old! The princess has become. Draw the Eidolons from her. Finally, we can. Eidolons of eternal life. Eidolons of infinite power. Arise from 16 years sleep. Depart from the 16 years sleep. Let there be light. I know they're actually saying those together in one, but I can't do that. I don't really have the time to edit that right now, so. The time has come. Come forth. Odin, warrior of the dark. 
Odin. It's a very familiar name. Some of you may know him. At least I hope you would. Alright, so back in Clara. What are you doing here? Tell me, why do you think the sandstorm disappeared? I don't know. I'm surprised that there even was a sandstorm. Did you know the sandstorm was here for a thousand years? And all that time, it never disappeared. Not even once. Perhaps Braun is behind all this. What about that guy who was with Braun? Oh, I'm actually more concerned about him. You know. That man. I wonder who he was. Zidane, I'm going to head down to find out why the sandstorm disappeared. Hey, I was thinking the same thing. Let's go together. I'm going to go find Vivi and Quina. I'll meet you at the town entrance. So now we got control of Freya, which is pretty cool. This is like pretty much the only time you have Freya under your own control. You know, like walking around. Um, what can we do for Freya here? We can give her ooh, Insomniac. That would be nice. Um, thunder Gloves. Reduces damage for Thunder by 50. We'll grab that. We'll equip the Mithril Mail, our armor, and that's it. Let's see what we can do for ability. Oh, nothing. Let's see, we don't need... No, we'll be fine. Um, I did go to the store and I did get Sun Chips. <laughs> at the store that I told you I couldn't find them at, at the grocery store. Um, I also got Ginger Ale, because I was thirsty. And it was on sale. So, so that's what I'm drinking right now. You know, on my way there, it was really weird. So I'm walking through this park. I regret this happening to you, staying clear. I was walking through this park, and there was a book. There was like two books sitting in a tree. Now, what I thought was, because like that's kind of that's kind of weird, you know, like someone was sitting in a tree reading a book. You know, and books obviously are made from trees because they're made of paper. And I know we have to go up, but I'm just um, checking something. But yeah, so I thought, oh no, party is down here. So I thought that's like eating that's like eating a burger on a leather couch, you know, reading in a tree, reading a book in a tree. Hey, what took you so long? All right, let's get going. I couldn't find Puck. I wonder if he went down the trunk. This city have very yummy sand. The city delicious. I failed Bermisia. But I won't fail Clara, no matter what. Alright, so I'm going back up to the town just because um, um, there's a few things we need to do. So you can actually continue to get items from Dan here. Um, I didn't mean to speak to him, I meant to speak to the kid. But yeah, all the kids are here too, this whole family. At least it's a lot quieter. Yeah, without the sandstorm means. Um, Stillskin's up here. So, how about it? A three piece combo of High Potion, Ether, and a Phoenix Pigment for 444 gil? Sure. Thanks to you, kid, I can continue my journey. This place is so dusty. You know, I can't stand it. And I believe there is an eight or a magnet we can do. There's a letter here from Monev. Kubo, let's read it together. People are climbing up to clear us since the sandstorm disappeared. Kubo, I have a bad feeling about this. What's gonna happen? Will Clara end up like Bermesia? Isn't there anyone who can help us, Kubo? Sounds awful, Kubo. I'm gonna pack up and leave with Stiltskin. Is there anything you want? Um anything? No? So we're gonna save because I haven't saved in a long ass time so hang on. Another thing to note is I did um, outfit our party with some new stuff. Um, the most thing to note is now Vivi is lear now learning fire thanks to the mage's hat and he's also got a very useful ability, loudmouth, which prevents silence. Which is very handy of course to have for any mage so I'm just gonna talk to him again because, you know, it's I always do that, so. Um, anyways, back outside we go. <coughs> uh. So I'm going to show this area too, because you can now come in here. Um, this area where we saw the dance, the high priest's room. The strings breaking, how foreboding. High priest, the stone that protected Clara since the days of old. I hereby bestow it upon you, and hope that you may learn to use it. 
We got an emerald. Have you seen Puck? So, oh nice, there's an ore there too. Yeah, so the emerald <coughs> is a nice um, add-on to have. Um, I believe, I'm not sure if this one teaches an ability, let's see. Um, yes it does, MP plus 10%. Also has white draw, so we'll give that to Freya because that's one of her abilities. Lowers her stats, but you know, we're learning a new ability, so. We'll come across quite a few different um, gems that we can use as add-ons, which will become very important, actually. Now this is funny. I wonder why they can't just restart the sandstorm. Yeah, because it's just an on and off switch, you know. Um, that's about all we can do here, so we'll head down to the entrance of the town. Ah, I love ginger ale. <clears throat> anyway, so down we go. On my way down to the... Down here, I actually found some thunder gloves that I totally forgot were there. So, I didn't even need to buy them, but I did, so whatever. I think I only bought one, so I'm starting to have one, but yeah, that's a cool view now, isn't it? Yeah, everything's all different now. All the scenery has changed because of without the sandstorm and all that. These things aren't moving anymore, thank god. Huh? Alexandrian soldiers? What the hell? What is going on here? Why are there Alexandrian soldiers in Clara's trunk? Oh well. They are really no match for us anyway, so... It may as well be nice of Pluto. So let's try out Fyra now that we got it. Eh, I guess we'll steal too, because there's no harm in that. No, <laughs> well... That's a funny thing to say, but you know, in real life there would be, but... Yeah, what was I going to say too? What's the else I was going to talk about? Can't really remember. Oh, no! Oh, And Quinn is going to kill her? Oh, so I don't even get to use it. Defend. Just whatever. Oh, wasted. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, see? Yep. Forked her to death. I fork you. Hey, fork you. I was, <clears throat> I was really hoping to save that trance, but hopefully Quinn doesn't lose his trance. Not that he's going to do a whole lot with his, but. Ah, oh, crap. More soldiers. So, from that last battle, Zidane learned. Or mastered a few abilities. Um, Devil Killer, so we'll switch that to. I would have liked to have Mithril Vest, but they're already taken, so. Uh, oh, we're almost done. What's that? That's good. I should show what that is, too, because that's kind of funny. Um, yeah. The sand is still pouring, though. But, oh, psh, and they're hiding behind the trees! So, Vivi Master poisoned in that battle. Um,. We are going to have to cut it off very soon here, unfortunately. A moment, Zidane. Those Alexandrian villains back there. Weren't they too few in number to constitute a determined attack? Yeah, I thought so too. Bingo! Ow! Oh, I almost pushed that V down the trunk. Freya, the town's in trouble. You gotta come back, please. No. My fears were true. At once, my lord. Oh, shit. Come on, you deadweights, hustle! You heard him, let's go. Oh, man. Oh, no oh, crap, it's Beatrix. Should've known. Ha, <laughs> I fell for it. Oh, no, man. How dare you show up here? Ugh. Where are they coming from? No, don't kill them. Aww. These black mages do look different, though. Kill! Kubo! Please save us, the town is full of demons! Shannon, sure. Are there really that many? They just keep coming! Oh man, this is gonna be the last battle before we cut this episode off, unfortunately. I know it's a. Uh, shit. It's kinda leaving it on a cliffhanger there. It's getting really intense, things are finally really going down now, but. 
I mean, all the time's getting up. There's some things I have to edit out, but it's still gonna be like a, I don't know, 16, 17 minute video, so. But well, here we go. Looks like we're on a beach, actually. Yeah, type B, a different type this time. From what I remember, Quinn usually does have his trance near like this area, like in Clara. It's weird, and he does right now too. So, well, he's about to. But with high tide, I mean, you get yeah, your trance quick anyway. So, not too surprising. So here's a uh, still skin in case you missed him the first time. Oh, what the? What just happened? Looks like he has a weird grin. The way the cameras. Whatever. Um, no time to be reading letters, but he's gonna give us something to deliver, so. Deliver a letter to Sereno. Alright, we'll give that letter to Sereno. Oh no. Okay, um, yeah, so this is gonna be it for this one. Sorry I had to end it on such an intense moment, but, um, yeah, you know, that's just the way it is. You know, time's, time's a ticking, so I'll see you next time.